Hey everybody, welcome to another ARK video. So, if you guys remember, a little while ago we did a first impressions of ARK Survival Evolved. And it was only supposed to be one video, but now I'm gonna maybe make it two, maybe three. I'm not gonna do a full series on it because I'm still sticking to the fact that I don't think this is a series type game, not for single player at least, but I do want to make occasional update videos. So today, we're gonna have a little of an update video. And you might remember a comment that I made on the last video about single player kind of being hard and that I kind of got to the end of it. I kind of figured out a way around that, specifically with the metal. What I ended up doing is actually moving to a completely different place and it made it a lot easier to continue with the game. So I kind of take that back. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. I just had to kind of move locations. But let's kind of go through it with the update of what I've done. So you can already see my inventory. I've gotten to the phase where I do have some metal weapons already. I have a little rifle, shotgun crossbow stuff like that so i do have some weapons i'm not on the like slingshot anymore got a little pterodactyl here which we will fly to our new base because this is our old base so what i ended up doing is just kind of surrounding the place with uh wood spikes and actual base itself is this one right here this is the little base we got our little Ah, there's gonna be there's so much because it's so much has happened so I guess we'll go through everything this is kind of like the main house or was the main house before we moved um, this is a, a furnace type thing where we where we smelt metals stuff like that you know what oh I don't think I'll be able to carry that back with me honestly so we'll probably just let's just stick this back and we're not gonna be able to carry much of this meat with us because the pterodactyl is very light but we got a bed a smith um and a workbench and here's where you can do a lot of the iron working uh with a lot of like the swords and guns this is where you actually build the firearms and i have a bunch of items in these chests you could see we have quite a few items but i know all of you are mostly dying to see what kind of dinosaurs that i i have so after playing, I think I've, I'm either at 30 or 40 hours, I'm not exactly sure. I've had hundreds of dinos killed, hundreds. These are just the ones that I have with me right now. So I have two raptors. I used to have a bunch of other raptors. Right now I have two raptors. I have one, one parasaur. I have one, what's your name? I have one of these bigger dudes. And I have five of these dilosaurs. Yeah, I have five of those. So I have a good amount of dinosaurs, but these are this is the old base, and I'm not really going to rely on dinosaur power anymore much uh, from here on out, so none of these really matter. But yeah, I guess we could, let's take a look. I am level 59 right now. We take a look at our crafting. So I think I, like the, the video we made, we got down to like five maybe, one, two, or three, or five. Yeah, I've kind of gone down... And I am all the way at 59 over here. So I just got the assault rifle, which is pretty cool. But of course, you have to craft, and that takes a lot of stuff. And also, you guys might be a little bit wondering, so how did you get over that hurdle from the first episode in the comments where I said that I can't really get past? Another thing that I did was I actually modified the settings for the game. So when I said it was a little too hard to play, what I did is I just went to the settings and made it a little bit easier so the single player is equivalent to the multiplayer if you know what i mean so i turned a lot of the taming up the spoiling times up uh stamina up things like that not too much where it becomes way too easy but enough to be equal with the multiplayer but yeah once again this is our kind of original base that i had for quite a while and i have a bunch of dinosaurs and a bunch of items and honestly the only reason i came back here to be honest was to get uh, the chitin and the keratin because I'm going to need that for a project that I'm working on at the new base. So let's kind of hop on our, our um, little pterodactyl here. So I have a really hard time with navigation, but okay, maybe I said that wrong. I have a great time with navigation. I'm really great at navigation, but this game makes it hard. But I know the way to the base. It's a little bit past that giant monolith ob obelisk thingy. So once we get to the new base, we'll play around with the guns. I I'll show you guys around and work on the new project. And kind of the way I know my way back is 
there's a lot of landmarks you can see like there's that little mountain right there there's a couple mountains right there there's another one of those obelisks over there the new base is right about there and there's a sh yeah this is where you can spawn one of the bosses but i'm in, in no way ready to spawn these this boss so we're just gonna leave that alone all right everybody we are just about here and you might be saying why is this place even smaller than the last one? Well, I kind of just started this up about a couple hours ago, but this this place is pretty much caught up. It has everything but the dinosaurs, pretty much. And yeah, this is the new location. I like it. The reason I came to this location is because this is on a mountain, and there are metal rocks around the mountain. That's exactly what it, I was kind of looking for to get these pistols and guns and stuff. You know what, actually, I should move this move this guy a little bit higher up here. This is kind of where I keep him. It's a nice, safe little place, right? Whoop, wrong button. And yeah, all I have is him. That's pretty much all I need. But what... And this is the inside. It's pretty much the same. It's the same setup. And I'm not advancing to, like, metal walls and wood walls. Because I don't really need them yet. Not, there's nothing really big up here that can attack me. So I'm just kind of staying with this. But what I was working on was, I can come over here, a lot of stuff's already in here because I was preparing for it, is crafting the fabricator. All I need is a cement paste, and that's exactly why I went back to the beach to get more of the keratin and, I think, chitin? Is that what I needed? Yeah, 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 keratin or chitin, that's exactly what I needed. So we gotta make... Can we make, ooh, we might have just enough, or close to around enough. So I guess we'll let that keep going. Do we have any metals going in here? No. Okay. Yeah, you know what, while that's happening, I can kind of show you guys around. This is pretty much the top of a mountain. The metal rocks look like these over here. And by the way, earlier, a little bit ago, there was an alpha raptor coming around here. And that thing was scary. I'm pretty sure it's gone now, but yeah, this is what metal rocks look like. And like I said, they give you a lot of metal. Actually, I need to fix my pick. Alright, let's head up and do that. I forgot that I needed to do that, actually. Yeah, that's what the metal rocks look like. Alright, let's run up and let's go ahead and fix. Whoop, get up here. Actually, what are we going to need? We're going to need wood and fiber right oh uh, actually we already have the hide right so we just need the wood let's stick the wood in here and this is how you fix these things wait what am i missing here hide oh okay yeah you just stick things into the table and you can repair them right on the spot and i won't repair that because it's still in good shape okay Let's see how our cement cement paste is doing. It's doing good. So 21. And we could stick that in here. And we can finally make the fabricator. And that will open us up to making a lot of new objects. Bam. And we can go ahead and level up. Guess we can do that. And let's see what we unlocked here. I went a little far. Refrigerator. For a, okay, so we can stop things from spoiling for a long time. That's cool. I don't have electronics or pylon or any of that stuff, so if we can't build it yet. But how big is the fabricator is the real question. Oh, I still didn't actually grab it. How big is it? Oh, geez, that's gigantic, actually. Okay, so we're going to need an entirely new space for it. And I don't know where that's going to be. I want okay, so just add another little plate. Can it fit here? I wonder. I'm really hoping it does. Wait a minute. Bam. Cool, it does fit here. Let's move the pterodactyl though. Let's move him a little bit further down. Bam. Just so he's not inside of it for now. How's your hunger bar? Okay, he's doing fine. Okay, and I kind of put it in a weird position, but I guess it doesn't matter. 
but this will help us make more advanced technology uh, so it'll help us make the electronics and polymers which we're going to need for different things uh, the GPS is going to be very useful structures cooking uh, the industrial grill and what weapons here firearms Ooh, we'll be able to make a lot of the ass this is where we'll be able to make the assault rifles so that's kind of interesting and I don't think we're going to be able to make that today because that's going to take a lot of grinding to get the polymers and cement paste but okay so yeah that's literally the only reason I went to the beach is to make this thing Okay, I've never seen a golden one before, I guess. Let's go check it out, right? I'm kind of interested. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a lot of these things off. So, if I die, I don't completely lose them. Let's go see what that is. I'm interested. Let's grab the pterodactyl. Let's see what's up. I know the golden ones are a little bit higher leveled. I wonder if we'll be even be able to get it. Okay, so let's kind of be aware of our surroundings here. Doesn't look like anything too dangerous is around here, so. Let's see kind of what's in here. Okay. So, it was just like some patterns, I guess. Yeah, the thing that I was scared of was the crocodiles, but. Okay, so what did we get here? Ramshackle ghillie gauntlets and ramshackle. Okay. So, just armor pieces. I guess that's kind of cool. And one thing that just went through my mind, I never actually showed you guys how the guns work. So, once, let's go back to the house and we'll kind of test out the guns. I'll kind of show you how it works. Or just kind of how powerful they are. Okay, so, again, right now I have a pistol, a rifle, a shotgun, and a crossbow. So, a crossbow shoots bolts, so it's not super, super strong. Now, kind of how it goes is the shotgun, this can kill a uh, triceratops in two shots. That's really good. This can kill it in, I think, about three or four, so that's pretty good. And then the pistol shoots a lot faster than both of them. It can kill it in about, I think, six to ten. So, they're all really good. But I guess I'll just have to prove it. Let's go find something to kill. Looks like there's some triceratops down there. And you might be wondering why I don't have any armor on. I just die so often that I just don't feel like losing armor over and over again. So I, half the time I just don't even make it. And there's some metal rocks down here that I'll have to get too. I gotta be careful of raptors, right? They can be kind of dangerous. But, um... Okay. Let's go ahead and kill this thing. Let's see how many shots of the pistol it takes. I missed my first shot. Right, let's restart. <laughs> One. And then let's go for headshots from here on out. Two. Whoop, lagging. You also gotta remember, these things are like super tough though. Like, specifically this one. I'm wasting so much ammo doing this, but oh well. Bam. So, it was a good amount. Though, I probably picked the wrong animal. Because the, these things are, like, generally strong. But it does give me keratin, which I'm going to need. So, that's completely fine with me. Let's kill this thing. With one shot. But, those things are also kind of weak. So, I'm not surprised. Let's see if we can one shot this in the head. Did, that is a one shot to the head. Alright, let's try a bigger one. Is this a one shot to the head?
Ooh, that, okay. Now, we're gonna go to Triceratops, see how many takes of that. But I will collect the raw and the hide and stuff like that. I do need that, so... Alright, let's see. I missed? How's that even a miss? That's one in the head? Oh, God. They are coming after me. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let's just get out the shotgun for this one. Ooh. Okay, these things are tougher than I thought they would be. Mm, I might leave them alone here. Alright, you know what? Let's fight this, actually. Who cares about ammo, right? I think this one's almost dead. Yeah, this one's... Oh, okay, there goes one Triceratops. Let's get another one out of here. Bam. And let's pull out the... Oh, you're not getting away now after I pump so many bullets into you. Let's kill this one too. This one's almost dead. Bam. Dead. Now let's collect all their stuff. So yeah, I pretty much wasted all my ammo in those two fights, but... You know what? It's fine. I'll make some more. I have a lot of metal. Or can get a lot of metal. Let's make the scope attachment. So 20 crystal, 40... Shoot, we might already have what we need here, actually. Weapons, attachments... Okay, we need stone. That's it. That's pretty easy to get. And then we'll see what the um, what the scope attachment does here. Attachments. All right, let's make that. Uh, it uses a lot of metal, but it's fine. Once again, for the sake of having it, we only need to make it once as long as I keep track of the gun. Oh, and I just add it like that. Okay, and I just click on it. Then bam, now it has a scope. Okay, cool. Well, that was a scope. Yeah, honestly though, I really love like the look of the game. I feel so cozy in here. Real quickly, let's make ourselves some armor. Yeah, let's make ourselves this armor. So we could have something on us. There we go, all the armor is made. Let's stick all the materials back in here. And let's put on all the armor. And then update it. Bam. Now we look just a little bit less worse, which is nice. And we have a couple more points to spend. Now, one of the big things about single player that, again, I mean, when I said is really unoptimized is if you go all the way to level 100, you actually don't unlock all the anagrams. I'm already at 50 something and look, more than half are actually unfilled and maybe two or three of these, I'll waste all my points. So in single player, you actually don't get all your anagrams even at level 100 so what you have to do is pretty much cheat to get them which I'll end up having to do and it's not cheating because I have to do it it's literally the only way to unlock all of them but see, even right now there's not really much to unlock to be honest I guess we'll get the refrigerator and I'm not gonna unlock things that I don't need I mean I kinda get lucky with a lot of things like the war map I'm never gonna need a war map because like I don't know I'm not going to war it's single player but I'm just gonna not unlock anything until I pretty much need it to be honest that's kind of my plan here I'll have points left over for any time that I do need them alright guys so I'm gonna end that off here this was just kind of an update video on arc just see kind of I was doing cuz I am having fun with this game I truly am and we have another let's, let's get our health let's see what's next but I am gonna end the video here as soon as I check what I just unlocked let's see what we got next air conditioner it doesn't really help me and who knows, we might have another episode of ARK later on with another update. But for now, this is kind of how far we gotten. We finally got the guns. And all of this was pretty much today, actually. Um, to give you a little perspective, it's 8 in the morning right now. So it's 8.27. I haven't gone to sleep. So, 
yeah I gotta go so guys if you enjoyed this make sure you like and comment as a sports channel and I'll see you guys later God bless and goodbye